What's going on everyone? This is Sean from All Things EV. And in this video, I dive deep into Tesla's new semi-truck that they just did deliveries for. I had several questions that did not get answered during the delivery event, and so I want to cover those questions in this video, and I think what will end up being a series of videos, because each one of these topics can definitely be a little bit meaty, so make sure you're subscribed. In this video, though, I want to talk about how much the Tesla semi-truck weighs. Interestingly enough, they did not talk about that in the initial semi-truck event back in 2017 that I attended. And they did not mention it in the most recent delivery event either. This video is going to dive into a couple of ways that I estimate what I think the semi-truck weighs. Let's start off with some things that we do know. The gross vehicle weight of a fully loaded semi-truck is 80,000 pounds. And because electric semi-trucks are heavier due to the battery pack, they get a handicap of an additional 2,000 pounds. So a total of 82,000 pound gross vehicle weight for an electric semi-truck. The average semi-truck weighs between 10,000 and 25,000 pounds, according to JD Powers. As I dug deeper into this, I realized how difficult it was to get some concrete numbers on the total weight of a semi-truck. There are so many variables to account for that I found myself researching this and just getting really deep into the weeds. So I'm going to have to make some generalization as well as some averages. There are two ways that I estimated the Tesla semi-truck. One is to start at the battery pack level and then work my way up from there. The second was to start at a max gross vehicle weight of 82,000 pounds and work down from there. This will give me an upper and a lower bounds for what the semi-truck could weigh. Based on a real world test that Tesla shared at the delivery event, we know that they managed to travel 500 miles on a 93% charge, but from 100 to 0%, that would actually yield 535 miles. On Twitter, Elon stated that the semi truck gets 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. If I take that 535 miles and multiply it by 1.7, kilowatt hours per mile, that's a usable battery pack of 909.5. According to another tweet from Elon back in 2018, he says that there is a two to 5% reserve past zero. This tweet was in connection to a test that my friend Eric and I did in a Model 3 where we hypermiled the Model 3 rear wheel drive long range more than 600 miles. So we could use that same two to 5% reserve on the semi truck, but a 10% buffer on that 535 miles equates to a 1000 kilowatt hour pack. This is actually what the YouTube channel Engineering Explain estimated when he was calculating the size of the battery pack. And I actually trust his math much more than I do mine thousand pounds. Well, from Tesla's impact report, they say the semi has over 500 miles of range and can get better than 0.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Do some simple math, 500 divided by half, and that gives you an estimated battery capacity of about a thousand kilowatt hours, uh, assuming those two numbers are true and fairly close to reality. So how much does a 1000 kilowatt hour battery pack weigh? Well, we do know how much a 100 kilowatt hour pack weighs because Tesla makes those and puts them into the Model S and X. The weight of that pack is 1,377 pounds. If we multiply that by 10, we get 13,770 pounds for the Tesla semi battery pack. But how much does the semi truck weigh in total because that matters a great deal. To get a very low end bound on what the semi truck could weigh, we could take the Model X long range, which weighs 5,185 pounds, and determine how much of that total weight in percentage is the battery pack. That battery pack comes out to 27% of the car. 
If we take that same 27% and add 73% to that, we get a total weight of 23,822 pounds. But as you're probably thinking, it's not an apples to apples comparison between the X and the semi truck. There are some component differences, there are more axles on the semi truck, and the mass of the semi truck is much larger. But at least we now know what a lower bounds of the semi truck could weigh. This then brings me to the process of figuring out what the upper bounds of this Tesla semi truck could weigh. And as some of you pointed out on Twitter, Tesla did do some testing with some Jersey barriers. Based on what I could find, there are a couple of sizes of Jersey barriers, 10 foot and 12 foot. And based on a conversation I had with a fellow YouTuber who also drives semis, he said that if the barriers were 12 feet, it would require three straps instead of two. Based on what I could see in some of these pictures, Tesla has 10 foot Jersey barriers on a flatbed trailer. Those 10 foot Jersey barriers weigh 4,000 pounds each. With 11 on that flatbed, that makes 44,000 pounds. We know that a flatbed typically is around 10,000 pounds. That then equates to 55,000 pounds of just what's on the trailer. If we subtract that from 81,000 pounds, that would make the semi truck 27,000 pounds. And if that is true, that would make the battery pack not 27% of the weight of the vehicle, but 50%. So how does that compare to a diesel semi truck? As mentioned earlier in the video, it really ranges broadly from 10,000 to 25,000 pounds. It's important to take a moment and distinguish what the semi truck is and is not. It is a day cab. It's meant for day trips, regional driving, not long haul cross country trips like a truck with a sleeper would be. So if we compare the weight of the top end of a diesel semi truck of 25,000 pounds to the current weight of a Tesla semi, it's only a 2,000 pound difference. But if you split that 10,000, 25,000 pound range right down the middle, you get 17,500. So yes, the Tesla semi truck does weigh more and depending what you're comparing it to, could be 2,000 pound difference or it could be a 10,000 pound difference. But one thing I haven't heard very many people talk about is the cost to go from point A to point B. It's possible that the Tesla semi truck may not be able to carry as much due to the weight of the actual truck, but the cost to get from point A to point B should also be factored in as well. So depending on which diesel truck you're comparing it to, the Tesla semi could weigh 10,000 pounds more, which means that you're carrying less product in the trailer, which does have an impact. However, one thing that the electric semi truck does have an advantage over the diesel is the cost to power it. It's significantly less than diesel fuel. And if we're factoring in current diesel prices at around $5 a gallon and 150 gallon tank, that's about $750 just to fill up the diesel truck. At a 25 cents per kilowatt hour electricity rate, it would only cost $250 to charge a 1000 kilowatt hour battery pack. So does that $500 delta between diesel prices and electricity prices make up for the product that you're not fitting into the back of a trailer because of the weight of the semi truck? I think that's for companies to determine and it certainly depends on what you're putting in the back. If you're putting a more high value, more expensive product in the back and you can't put as much in because the Tesla semi does weigh more, then that might make a big difference and might be a downside. But if the price of the product that you're transporting in the back of that trailer is low cost, you may be able to make up that difference in the fuel savings that you've got by driving electric. What are your thoughts on this? Are you in the semi-truck industry? I'd love for you to sound off in the comments. It's really difficult to get a specific answer on how much the semi-truck weighs because there are just so many factors that come into play. I think I've done a good job with estimating the battery pack at just under 14,000 pounds. And at least we know that it's probably not going to be less than the 23,000 pounds I estimated by 
figuring out percentages between Model X and semi-truck. The question is, do fleets that companies have weigh on the upper end of that 10 to 25,000 pound range for semi-trucks? If so, this seems like a no-brainer to invest into the Tesla semi-truck. However, if you're less than 20,000 pounds, you've, you've got a pretty big delta there between what the Tesla semi-truck could likely weigh and what a diesel truck weighs. Regardless of whether you're in the semi-truck industry, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Did I miss something? Is there something that I should have factored in? Please add it in the comments and make sure to subscribe because some of the next videos I'll cover will talk about Tesla semi-trucks range, how much it costs, and how companies are going to charge these vehicles. My name is Sean Mitchell with All Things EV. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.